Evaporation is the process by which liquid water is converted to vapor and rises through the atmosphere, forming clouds at high altitudes. The collision coalescence process is for clouds found in lower altitudes and is considered a warm cloud, where the temperature is greater than negative 15 degrees Celsius. The most important factor in warm clouds is the liquid water content. Water in the clouds will often collide with each other, forming larger water droplets. The more water present means there will be more collisions. The process of coalescence is when large water droplets collide with smaller water droplets and the surface tension of the water holds the particles together. Coalescence works best when the colliding water particles are of opposite charges, when enough collisions have taken place and the water droplets have grown large enough it will fall as rain. The second most important process is the Bergeron process, or the ice crystal process. It is most important for clouds that are found in mid to high latitudes, where the temperature is well below freezing, or below negative 15 degrees Celsius. Although the clouds are below the freezing temperature, there is actually a lot of water present. The liquid content in the clouds is referred to as supercooled water. Ice crystals only occur in clouds when the temperature falls below negative 40 degrees Celsius. There are two types of collisions that occur within cold clouds. The first is the process of accretion, where ice crystals will collide with supercooled water droplets and freeze together. This forms snow pellets. The second is the process of aggregation, where ice crystals collide and freeze together. This process forms snowflakes. In forming snowflakes, the ice crystals will also fall apart occasionally, and external collisions will occur, forming the snowflake shape. Now, as these snowflakes descend from their formation of at least 3,000 meters, they will display different forms of precipitation, depending on the vertical temperature profiles. This vertical temperature profile is defined by the deep freezing layer, and whether it is shallow or thick, and these typically exhibit temperatures lower than 0 degrees Celsius. Additionally, there is an above freezing layer, which exhibits temperatures from 0 to 4 degrees Celsius. The four possible profiles that exist are that of rain, freezing rain, sleet, and snow. The vertical temperature profile for rain increases in temperature linearly, eventually reaching the above freezing layer at approximately 1700 meters. The snow is able to melt, and the resulting water droplets land on the ground as rain. The next temperature profile will be that of freezing rain. In this profile, the snow descends until it reaches an above freezing layer at approximately 1700 meters. At this point, the snow melts. It is very similar to the profile of rain, however, as it approaches 500 meters above the Earth's surface, there will be a shallow, deep freezing layer present, causing these rain droplets to slightly freeze, resulting in freezing rain. Exhibiting similar characteristics to the freezing rain profile is that of sleet. The difference between these profiles is that as snow falls and melts at approximately 1,700 meters, it will eventually reach a deep freezing layer much earlier in comparison, at a height of approximately 800 meters. This thicker, deep freezing layer allows the rain droplets to fully freeze, forming sleet. And lastly, the vertical temperature profile for snow is the simplest of all. At all times during the descent of the snowflakes, they are completely within the deep freezing layer.